There used to be a time when the word China was associated with poor product quality. <laughs> but now, it never stops innovating, and you're looking at a structure so ridiculously tall that it rivals the world's tallest buildings. The Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge sits an astonishing 625 meters above the ground. That is more than two Eiffel Towers stacked end-to-end. -to -end. If you dropped a stone from the middle, it would take a dizzying 11 seconds to hit the river below. But the real question is, why? And more importantly, how in the world did they build it? Over 92% of this province is mountains and hills. Residents on both sides of the ravine have been separated for generations, and a detour takes at least two hours. To efficiently connect the two sides of the river and reduce travel time from two hours to just two minutes, engineers settled on a bold decision to build the world's largest suspension bridge, with a main span of nearly one mile rising 2,051 feet above the water's surface. The entire process of this engineering marvel breaks down into three epic stages build the towers, string the cables, and lay the road. First up, the towers. These concrete giants soar up to 262 meters high, but their real strength is hidden. To keep them rock solid on the mountainous slopes, engineers had to drive 24 huge concrete pillars 68 meters deep into the bedrock. That's like burying a 20-story building just to hold the base. To build the tower shafts, they used something called a self-climbing formwork system, which allowed the towers to grow at an incredible pace. A suspension bridge is essentially a gigantic tug-of-war, and you need something massive to hold the ropes. This is where the anchorages come in. On one side, they used a colossal block of concrete, weighing nearly 400,000 tons, designed to hold the main cables purely by its own weight. On the other side, space was more limited, so they used the mountain itself by digging deep into the rock strata. They anchored the main cables directly into a hidden tunnel, letting the sheer force of the mountain absorb the massive tension. With the towers and the anchorages done, it was time to string the main cables, the two massive, nearly one meter thick ropes that hold the entire structure. But how do you get the first piece of string across a 1.4 kilometer long canyon? Well, the answer is a drone. A high-tech drone carried the first thin pilot rope across the gorge. This rope was then used to pull a thicker one, which pulled an even thicker one until they built a temporary construction platform called the catwalk. This was the pathway for the thousands of steel strands. Each main cable is made up of 217 individual strands, and each strand contains 91 high-strength steel wires. The very first strand was the most important, serving as the benchmark for all others. Using a combination of total stations on the ground and Beidou satellite positioning, engineers achieved mind-blowing precision, controlling the cable's position error to less than 2 millimeters. With the cables up and the vertical suspender ropes attached, all that was left was to put the road on top. The main steel girder. And since this thing is really heavy, the girder was split into 93 huge segments, each weighing over 200 tons. The assembly process started from the dead center of the bridge, with segments being lifted simultaneously and symmetrically towards both sides to keep the weight balanced out. But this was not an easy challenge. Engineers had to constantly battle the high winds that sweep through the canyon, even using laser radar to monitor wind speed and direction. In less than four years, the Huajiang Grand Canyon Bridge was complete, opening up just a few months ago. The chief engineer once said that building this world record bridge wasn't that difficult. That wasn't bragging, it was a statement of confidence built on decades of experience. The world's top 10 highest bridges record belongs to China. And this new bridge is the culmination of a vast national legacy of super engineering. But the most important number is that it resulted in 60 times reduced travel time linking isolated communities to the rest of the world. This superbridge, dubbed the world's first in every aspect, is also an innovative model of bridge tourism integration development in Guizhou, even featuring a restaurant on top of the tower, bungee jumping, and some amazing falls.